Hi, this is Brian from Brain District. I want to give you a short presentation of our new cloud-based technology, Text23D. Text23D will soon be available on the web, desktops, phones, and tablets. In this demonstration, we will use the desktop version. Every session starts with an empty terrain we can fill with objects. Text23D has many objects and pre-made houses, However, in this demo, we just want to add furniture to a simple room. We will start by adding an empty room to the scene. We will create an 8 meter wide and 6 meter deep room by just typing what we want. From the outside, the room is just a box sitting on the ground. Now we'll zoom in to see the inside. We want to add two windows to the room, so we type a window on the back wall, the same window on the right wall and press process. This window is too small. Let's change the windows until we find one that we like. I'll copy and paste change the windows so it's easier. Okay, I like this one. Now we'll zoom in on the back window to move the window to the right. We zoom in so that text to 3 d knows which window we want to move. Okay, now let's add a table to the right side of the room. Let's move it a bit more to the right. Good. Now let's render the scene in preview mode to see how it looks so far. Let's add a chair behind the table and a placemat on the back edge of the table. We'll add another chair in front of the table. By default, objects always face to the front, so we need to tell the chair that it has to face the table. Next, we'll add a placemat to the front edge of the table. To finish it off, we'll set a vase in the middle of the table. Now we will add a ceiling light on the right side of the room. We'll also put a floor lamp in the corner. We'll add a cabinet. Adjust its location. And set a flower vase on it. Now we'll add a picture of Marilyn Monroe. Text to 3D incorporates a Google image search feature, so we can easily customize our models and scenes. Color denotes a color picture versus black and white. Alternatively, you could say, a picture of Abraham Lincoln. I'll place a vent on the right wall and adjust its position. We can add environmental elements like trees and flowers quickly and easily. Now we will render to see the scene in greater detail.
Changing the time of day affects the outdoor lighting. We'll bump up the render quality from preview to normal. Higher quality renders take longer but look better. We can also dress up our windows with some curtains. With everything laid out, we can give it a render. As a nice twist with the image feature, all we need to do is type, change the picture. That's how easy it is to create and modify a scene with text to 3D.